Hey, Charles Matthews from Refrigeration Mentor. Once again at the day two of Chilventa 2022, and I'm, I'm super excited today. I'm here with my friend Cindy Monroe from uh, Dorin, and uh, we go way back. We knew each other from our old Emerson days about it's six true. years ago. It's true, it's true, so, man. Uh, Sydney, nice, to, nice to see you again. Yes, yeah, so good to see you again. <laughs> so Sydney is a true advocate for training. He loves educating the industry and he's out of Brazil. And he does an amazing job, has trained thousands and thousands of people. And today we're going to talk about uh, some of your CO2 compressors. Exactly, exactly. Awesome. Why don't you introduce yourself a little bit for the audience? Okay, I'm Sidney Mourão. I work in a representative from Dorin in Brazil and a support technical for Latin America. And uh, I'm excited to be here. It's a nice show. Nice to see friends. Yeah. Very important moment to see friends. And uh, it's a nice moment here to show some, some characteristics. No? Yeah. This is the idea. No? Yeah, the exactly. People. This is what it's all about. Uh, about the compressor. Yeah. Dorin, Dorin has a specific characteristics in a CO2 compressors. The, this kind of situation is a discharge. In a discharge, we have the discharge outside of the body of the compressor. Why? Yeah. Because in this way, we keep the, the hot gas of discharge outside of the compressor. We mean more or less 12%, more than 12% in a viscosity of the oil, because the, 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 the heat is outside of the compressor. We are only one doing this characteristic for transcritical compressors, uh, these compressors we can use to in a subcritical way. We when you like to increase the pressure in a system when the system stops it. This is the main characteristic. Another very interesting characteristic for the compressors that we have oil pump. This way, oil pump. In a oil pump, we pump the oil inside of the compressors. Dorin introduces a, a seal that keep the oil inside of this part, not touching the rotor. Okay. This is very interesting because when the oil touches the rotor, the oil is more uh, fluid, pulverized. Yeah. pulverized. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and it, in this way, the oil is come from the discharge. We keep the oil, in small oil inside of the compressor. We believe, we measure, we keep, we send less 80%, 80, 80% less oil coming to the system. Wow, this is that's very huge. amazing. That's that amazing. is huge because, as we know, most of the time when a compressor starts up in a standard system, you're sending more oil out into that system. Exactly. And that's why you have oil separators and oil management system. But now if you're keeping 80% more inside the compressor, it makes that oil management system so much better. Let's talk about this plenum here. So we reduce down that temperature now Keeping it away from the oil because we know that when you have really hot oil, you start exactly. to hit 300 degrees, 350 degrees, you start to break down, it carbons up, and it loses lubrication ability. Exactly. With this huh. separation here, now you got your your compressor can last longer before you start to overheat. You need more issues going on with your system, so that exactly. is really cool. I also noticed a few things. You have different pressure transducers on here, and I see there's a lot of them. Is that standard in them? Do you need those in there? Or? No, this is standard. That is standard. We supply our the compressor subcritical and transcritical with this protection. Okay. For sure, depends of the transcritical and subcritical. The difference in the pressure, yeah. the distance the pressure is different, but anyway, we supply this completely. Awesome. That is amazing. No, it's amazing. I, I, I could say that we have a, a very complete line for CO2. Okay. Dorin invests a lot in a natural refrigerants. Yeah. For sure, we have it, the H, H refrigerants too. Yeah. So we can supply for H refrigerants too, but propane and CO2, we are ready. <laughs> yeah, and they've been in the CO2 game for a long time. One of the first CO2 compressor manufacturers in the world. And I highly recommend heading into the Dorin uh, website. Check out your new, uh, you got a new app as well on there. So you get on their website, you can size a whole system and i've seen that so you can size the compressors and you can the, the low temp medium temp as well as the full solution by by your software so i think that's pretty cool yeah yeah you can select the system in our software it has more than 100 years no? yeah it's a very 
very experienced, not old, or experienced company. Yeah, I love it. Hey, Sydney, thank you so much thank for you taking so the time. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hey, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you got something out of it, something that you can use in your daily life. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and click the bell button because when you do click the bell button, it will notify you anytime new videos are released. Also, check out the Refrigeration Mentor webpage at refrigerationmentor.com where I'll have all the different trainings, upcoming events, the different podcasts I've been on, as well as the Refrigeration Mentor podcast. If you want to check that out on Apple, Spotify, Google, any service provider of your choice. Super excited to see you at the next video. Now let's get a conversation going.